Hello, Dave Dog here again. Uh, we're back with the Brighton game after our Chelsea debacle and another sending off and subsequently a 3-0 defeat. Only 2-1 in our save with a full strength team. Hopefully we can get back to winning ways in this one against Brighton. <laughs> Just before we look at the team news, let's get up to date uh, with our league position in our save. We are safe with 40 points from 36 games, two games to play. Uh, Norwich, 32 points from 36, so eight points behind. Uh, Burnley and Crystal Palace have already gone in this save. And the other one will come from Norwich, Brentford or Watford. Uh, so what two of the three that go down in here probably are the same two that have already gone down in real life. And uh, the results from last week are pretty realistic on our save. The only one that was way out was probably Liverpool 3, Tottenham 0 being a draw. Arsenal 1, Leeds 0, same difference but different score. Brentford 2, Southampton 1, that was 3-1 in real life. Uh, Burnley 2, Villa 4, so that, that was 3-1, so same difference. Exact score, Chelsea 2, Wolves 2 and Palace 1, Watford 0, those were the exact scores. Uh, Leicester 4, Everton 0, that was uh, totally wrong as Everton beat Leicester quite easily and uh, Norwich 0, West Ham 3, that was a West Ham win and Man City 4, Newcastle 0, 5 nil in real life and Brighton 1, Man United 0, the right result but Brighton 1, 4 nil in real life so pretty realistic the scores, 8 out of 10, the correct results so let's have a look at today's team then to face Brighton so before we go through the team, I'm just going to make a little change here to how we've been doing things before. We've been picking all the players we have available in our save. So for this game, I'm just going to pick the players that are available in real life. So players that are spended, like Aileen and Dan James, uh, we're not going to select. And for sure, and others that are injured, again, Somerville, we're not going to select. So the team we're putting out today is the team that could be picked by Jesse Marsh on Sunday. is Melly in goal. Robin Koch at right back, Llorente and Cooper in the centre, Firpo at left back, so a flat back four, Phillips in front of those, and the two in front of him being Klitsch and Rodrigo, and Bamford up front, again he's 50-50 as to whether he's going to play, but I think he probably will, whether it's on the bench or up front, but in our save he's playing, and on the left Harrison, and on the right Rafinha, not playing right wing back, but right inverted winger so we're going balanced to start with our usual formation uh, our usual tactic of vertical tiki taka and let's see how we get on against brighton then uh subs we've got andrew fisher jamie shackleton helde strauk cresswell bait mckinistry greenwood gelhart all those players are available so as i said the players that are injured we can't pick Aileen dallas for sure james somerville Tyler Roberts, we're, we're not selecting those either on the bench, so let's see how we go on then with a realistic side. Here is Patrick Bamford that gets us underway at this near full house, Ellen Road, uh, for this crucial game against Brighton. And uh, we're looking to uh, keep up or get back on the winning, we're looking to keep up on the winning trail uh, after several defeats and uh, in real life obviously this game is a must win game uh, being the fact that uh, it's between us and Burnley and at the moment we are in the drop zone as a through ball Harrison uh, but uh, straight at Sanchez and it's corner to Leeds in the fourth minute and taking the corner is Rafinha on the left puts a nice ball in there we attack it but Dunk heads out and Phillips picks up at the edge of the box knocks it back to Klitsch Klitsch back to Phillips. Can we get the ball in and create a chance here? Klitsch, Rodrigo. He's going to play it out wide. No, he knocks it forward to Bamford. We're all playing it narrow here, but out to Firpo. And it's cleared away by Brighton. And uh, it's just our attacks we've seen so far. And we've already knocked up a 0.21 XG. Don't know, quite know where that came from. Uh, just one other thing. Uh, the weather that uh, football managers put in for this game. They're saying it's... Uh, a balmy 28 degrees in May is Rodrigo, but uh, blasts wildly over the bar. 
a balmy 28 degrees in May. Uh, don't quite think it's going to be that, although it has been quite warm recently. And uh, it's corner to uh, Brighton here. You see that Burnley, Tottenham have gone in front against Burnley, but straight away Burnley have equalised. 1-1 uh, in that crucial game in real life. Uh, we would expect uh, Tottenham to win that. And in real life they're playing uh, the game before uh, we take on Brighton. That game kicks off at 12 and uh, Leeds game kicks off at two, headed wide by Malpe there and uh, that's the first attack for Brighton and uh, not much in this game so far and it's Rodrigo, plays it back to Phillips, plays it out to Firpo, looked offside there and Rafinha tucks that in but uh, I think that may be disallowed there, Firpo looked offside and uh, I think this one's going to be disallowed, the referee standing there usually signifies that and yep, disallowed but uh, Firpo getting in a good position, although offside. And uh, there we see, well offside. You could see that before. And uh, we could see that uh, that goal was going to be chalked off. And uh, Brighton with a free kick, Trossard. Knocks it to dunk, dunk up there, Malpe, but it's blocked, looked like by his own player there, and it ends up in Melier's hands. Quite even so far, 0.33. XG to lead, 0.32 now to Brighton, one shot on target each. Uh, just the disallowed goal that was clearly offside for Leeds. And Rafinha with a corner just before half time, and uh, that's over the bar from Klitsch. And we've got one minute of added time, and that comes to an end. And uh, we really need to create a little bit more than we have done so far. So let's get into the dressing room and uh, sort this out. Brighton that kick off the second half and uh, a lot of players uh, playing under par. urente has got 6.5, Cox 6.4, Phillips 6.5 and Bamford 6.5. Bam Bamford's not scored for 10 games and uh, it's his dual goal. So it's uh, Brighton playing it around at the back. Dunk to Veltman, their back three in position. And uh, late score there, Man City 2, West Ham 1. Liverpool have already won the title in uh, this save. And uh, I think they're about six points clear with... Uh, no, can't be six points clear with two games to go. About eight points clear with two games to go. So they've already won it. That's a cross in. Harrison taps in from Klitsch's crotch. And we take the lead in the 51st minute. And uh, a great ball there from Klitsch. And uh, let's see this again. Rafinha. Klitsch carries it on his run on the inside. Back to him, steadies it, crosses in, and Bamford there. Harrison at the far post taps that one in, and we take the lead. Much needed. He's been a bit nervy so far, and uh, we just got to keep the ball now. And uh, we're still on the balance mentality. So uh, here's Lamptey coming up the right, Trossard, and blocked there by Rente, and it's corner to Brighton. So Harrison. Getting in on the act with the scorers there. Dan James is still the top scorer with 11. And uh, I thought it had been overhauled by now. And it's uh, Rafinha who's behind him on 10. And then Bamford on 9 and Rodrigo on 8. So will Dan James hold on to the top scorer award? Look at that uh, score. Tottenham 3, Burnley 3. You certainly don't want that in uh, real life. Burnley scoring 3 at Tottenham. Especially Tottenham in real life going for fourth position and uh, looking on the fixtures that are left they probably will get it here's Mope and good save by Melier there and uh, let's have a shout and uh, just see the boys up it's not available at the moment someone's shouted focus let's demand more and uh, that's a goal kick heading wide from that corner and Liverpool have won the title but they're drawing 2-2 at Southampton, Klitsch gets the ball back there, here's Bamford running forward, Phillips, good ball to Harrison, he could be offside here though, chipped it in, let's see about that, sixth goal of the season for Jack Harrison, and uh, I don't know, is this going to be offside, it looks uh, a little bit like it, but uh, maybe not, Phillips, I don't know whether he ran through there, I couldn't quite see, it would be pretty close, by the way they're showing the replays I presume, it's not offside and we're 2-0 in front. Let's have a look where the lines are drawn. Yep, just times his run right there. So Harrison with two goals. And uh, there's Gross coming on 
and it's saying that Rafinha's given everything, Mayers Mope getting away again and uh, stopped there by third pole. Harrison plays the ball up to Bamford, he really needs a goal does Bamford. As I say, not scored in the last ten, here's Rodrigo, Harrison, Harrison on a hat-trick, oh what a finish that was, blast it well over, that was probably the easiest chance he's had. Tottenham 4, Burnley 3, it's a real high scoring game there, at, down at Tottenham. As I say, in real life that's the one uh, we expect Tottenham to win. So, here we go, Lamptey crosses in, Trossard, but it's the same finish. And we're on 83 minutes already, let's make some subs. Kelhart for Bamford. And who else? 6.5 for Firpo. Hell down for Firpo. We'll just make those two for the time being. And uh, not long left. So hopefully we should have this in the bag. There's Urenti taking a free kick from the back. Cock plays forward to Rafinha. Rafinha back to Cock. And inside to Klitsch. To Gelhart. Gelhart out to Harrison. Two goal hero today. Here's Harrison. Looked like a foul by Lamptey there, but he knocks the ball forward to nobody in particular. Phillips. And uh, Rodrigo picks up the ball again. Rafinha. Gelhart. Gelhart back to Rafinha and uh, block there. It's a corner. We're on 86 minutes, so this game very much looks like we're going to get the three points Rafinha with the corner but it's headed out by Dan Byrne uh, not now at Brighton in real life is at Newcastle Phillips blasts well over and uh, it looks like we're going to get those three points here Kelvin Phillips looks like he's given everything as I say it, uh, it's always saying that here's Rafinha Llorente over the bar so we've had quite a few efforts on goal and uh, We've got four minutes of added time as uh, Brighton play out from the back. Back to the keeper. Burn, back to the keeper. They don't look like they wanted to get in a, up to our half and uh, try to get anything from the game. They're still playing around at the back. Yep, keep doing this, guys. Yep, keep passing back to the keeper. And uh, we're on the full time. Yep, that's it. 2 0. A great game and uh, we're doing the lap of honour around the pitch as it's the last home game and uh, let's have hope we see that in our game in real life and uh, let's have a look see what the Burnley score was so four shots on target each not much in it in the XG but uh, Harrison took his chances two goals to him and man of the match with 8.2 but good performances all round uh, it's just Bamford and Furpo who we took off with the 6.5s, there we go, the lap of honour, that moves us up to 12th place, 43 points in our save with one game to play, and uh, as I said, we were saved quite a while ago. So let's have a look at the other scores on today, what was the Tottenham score, 4-3, they ended up winning, so again we'll take that if it comes true in reality. Liverpool managed to recover and beat Southampton 3-2, and they've got 100 points, uh, 9 points clear of Arsenal with one game to play. Uh, Everton nil, Brentford nil, uh, Man United four, Chelsea two, Watford one, Leicester two, West Ham three, Man City two, and Wolves two, Norwich one. Those are other scores today. Uh, so let's hope that's uh, a good omen for today's game against Brighton and uh, we put a bit of distance between ourselves and Burnley. And uh, our next episode, the final episode of the season, will be our last game against Brentford away, and I'll have that one up on YouTube sometime on Sunday morning. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah.